When are you no longer aspiring? I feel like this question comes up a lot. I hear it Not all the time. Not even the question, but more so the phrase. Right. Like um, if you go to events or something like that, you'll hear people say, I'm an aspiring writer. Yeah. I'm an aspiring filmmaker. And um, I just wanted to know. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but people say that we're aspiring a lot. So what, what does aspiring mean to you? Oh, okay. Aspiring means, you know, I have like mixed feelings, emotions. But initially mm -hmm. when I hear the word aspiring, I think of someone who's dreaming that wants that's has hope to becoming whatever it is they want to become. Mm -hmm. That's what I think of the aspiring is. There's no action behind it. It's just you dreaming and hoping. Mm -hmm. I think the other part that comes with the whole aspiring thing, I think what people are really saying is, I don't feel confident enough to mm. call myself, mm. to label myself as this. Uh, so I'm ooh. gonna oh, <laughs> oh truth hurts. Yeah, I, was, I felt that. I felt that. Yes, <laughs> I say I say this having you know having been there myself because okay. I remember early on in my journey, um, you know, it's going out to events and things like that. I'd be like, oh, you know, I'm an inspiring writer because when you're in the room with people who have had things on you know on network television or who have worked on the bigger productions and stuff like that right to me i didn't feel confident saying that i'm a writer i'm this i'm that because i didn't have anything to show for it 